Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Janda. Welcome back to the Operation Freedom Health and Wellness Series. This is an ongoing series Dr. Glidden and I have been providing for the past now four and a half years. Four and a half years. Uh, much to the chagrin of the medical industrial complex. That would be big pharma, big medicine, big insurance, um, and big government that wants to control every aspect of your life. And the hallmark of these presentations is we empower you. None of those other entities. We empower you in how to get control of your health for not just the short term, but the long term. The syndicate is upset about this series because they want to divide and conquer every aspect of society so that they can get more power, more control, and more of their ever precious financial resources. And what makes this presentation unique is we have an MD, an allopathic doctor, me, and one of the top naturopathic physicians in our country, if not the world, Dr. Peter Glidden, and Endy, discussing issues about your health and wellness and what you can do and not rely on big pharma, big medicine, big insurance, or big government. And they don't want, and the syndicate does not want that. Today, we cover a multitude of, of, of topics. Our, our videos are also present on our website, operationfreedomhealth.com and drglidden.com. A full disclosure, discussion of the products that we're going to mention today. They are available along with further information on operationfreedomhealth.com and the products are available and purchase of the products there does support this platform. Today's topic is going to be something actually very near and dear to my heart, if you will, and that is bone and joint health. Uh, I'm a, uh, I practiced orthopedic surgery for over 32 years and um, the key, the key is not waiting for an injury or a disruption of your bone and joint system, your musculoskeletal system. The key is prevention. And that's what all my research has been on over the years, uh, preventing people from getting injured. And there is a secret for strong bone and joint health, and Dr. Glidden is going to address that today. It's my honor to welcome back our friend and the health and wellness friend, Dr. Peter Glidden. Uh, he, in addition to being a phenomenal allopathic physician, uh, excuse me, allopathic, that's an insult. Uh, those the, are fighting words, Dave. Those are fighting words, a naturopathic physician. He also is a phenomenal author. And his two books, which are available on his website, drglidden.com and also amazon.com, are Everybody is Sick and I Know Why, An Attempt to Cure with Holistic Medicine. It is my honor to welcome back one of the top naturopathic physicians. Look at those. He's up. Oh, his shirt's about to bust open. Do I need a license? For well, I don't know. You know, I'm, uh, <laughs> RFK Jr. is jealous of those biceps. <laughs> I can tell. Um, yeah, Dr. Peter Glenn. Pete, welcome back. Dave, it's always a pleasure. Pleasure to be here. It's summertime, 2023. How about that? There we go. So, uh, so Pete, educate us about because many people say, well, you know, there's nothing you can really do. For your musculoskeletal system from a prevention standpoint i faced this for 30 some years and doing my prevention work in in, in orthopedics and in, yeah. in preventing bone and joint problems uh, talk to us about the secret for for strong bones and joint health well it's not genetic the reason that your bones go south and your joints go south is not genetic there's no gene that codes for bad joints um, and by the way if a medical professional ever tells you that your condition is genetic you want to pause, take a deep breath, and go, really, doctor, that's fascinating. Thank you so much for that information. Which gene on which chromosome, please? Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd like to know. It's not genetic. Medical professionals use the genetic scapegoat all the time as kind of a cover for their somewhat juvenile understanding of the physiology of the human body. But I digress. So it's not genetic. You don't have a bad gene. It's not because you're getting older because your bones are regenerating themselves all of the time. Mm -hmm. There are two cells in the body that take care of that. There's a cell called the osteoclast, which dissolves old bone, mm -hmm. and a cell called an osteoblast, which lays down new bone. Mm -hmm. Right? It's like that, you know, the asphalt thing that it scrapes up mm -hmm. the old right. asphalt in the front right. and then lays down the new in the back. It's just like that. Mm -hmm. It is. But, and by the way, that process is what the 
bone building bisphosphonate drugs like Boniva and Fosamax took advantage of. Mm -hmm. But how they took advantage of it was they put the cells that chew up the old bone to sleep. Mm -hmm. So old bone accumulates in the bone. Your bone density looks better. But old bone is old bone. The body was trying to get rid of it for a reason. And now when you get old bone accumulating in your body because you're taking those ridiculous drugs, you step off of the curb where the wind blows too strongly and your ankle snaps because the bone is extremely brittle. It's like dry tinder Mm -hmm. because the body doesn't like old bone. But Mm -hmm. my point in talking about this is that the body is making new bone all of the time, wants to make new bone all of the time. Mm Mm-hmm but it needs raw materials to do that. It needs bone building minerals to do that. And the minerals that the body needs, the body can't make, Mm -hmm. can't make them. Body can't make calcium, can't make phosphorus, can't make sodium, can't make it, can't make it, can't make it. Needs to go down the hatch. But the minerals that the bones need are not adequate in the food that we're eating. Mm-hmm. And they haven't been adequate in the food that we're eating since the 1930s. Mm-hmm. Because minerals get into the body by getting into the food. They get into the food if they're in the soil. And number one, they're not enough of them in the soil. And number two, when you spray the soil with the plants with uh, herbicides like glyphosate, which is ubiquitous now, it prohibits the plant from absorbing the mineral. Mm-hmm. And that's mm-hmm. one of the reasons why they did it in order to accelerate the genesis of chronic disease. Not enough minerals in the food, not enough minerals in the body, not enough minerals in the body increased chronic disease. It's They did it on purpose, is my contention. I so, wish I could argue with you, Pete. <laughs> yeah. but well, I, if it looks I like cannot. a duck, yeah. flies like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's a duck. Uh, and, you know, if you look at a chart, of the incidence of chronic disease in the mm. United States. Off the chin. As the minerals in the soil goes down, then the chronic diseases go up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's almost one to one. So you need simply to give your body the raw materials it needs to make new bones. That's all you need to do. You don't have to do anything exotic. Mm-hmm. You don't have to do gene therapy. You don't have to do stem cell therapy. You don't have to have a bone graft. You don't have to have cadaver bone injected into you. You just need to make sure your body has the raw materials to build new bone. That's it. And that's provided in uh, put together combination of products called the healthy bone and joint pack. Mm -hmm. It's got everything that the body needs to build healthy bones, plus everything that the body needs to be healthy. And this is holistic medical nutrition. So we cover all of the bases here. We give everything that the body needs, plus extra bone and joint nutrients. Bada bing, bada boom. If you intervene soon enough, Mm -hmm. the body fixes itself. If you wait, there's a point of no return. The body's only going to be able to fix itself so far, and then you will need surgery. But I used to think that I knew because, you know... uh, Doctors, most doctors have at least a little bit of arrogance. It's just kind of built into the code, right? Mm-hmm. True. I've, I've gotten a lot better, but I used to think I knew where the point of no return was. Mm. I really did, but since I've been using the medical nutrition as outlined by longevity, mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, the things I've seen people recover from, it's like I, I have no idea how bad it needs to be before the medical nutrition won't work. You should try the medical nutrition. You should always, surgery should be the last resort. Mm -hmm. True. Right? Absolutely. You don't know. No, that's right. Give your body a fighting chance, for goodness sakes. And that's all that we do. And, you know, and if you already have a problem, like you've twisted the joint or there's diagnosed arthritis in the joint, then we give more. Mm -hmm. So there's a therapeutic dose and there's a maintenance dose. But it all revolves around the one fundamental active philosophy here. It's called Vis Medicatrix Nature A, the healing power of nature. Your body knows how to fix itself. Your body wants to fix itself, but it needs help. And that's what we do. And nothing helps your bones and joints better than 
the healthy bone and joint pack, which is why it's called the healthy bone and joint pack. It's not called the healthy arthritis pack nope. or the healthy osteoporosis pack because that's illegal. Right. Because in the United States of Big Pharma America, the only thing that can legally treat a disease is a drug. And that should be against the law, but it's not. So, you know, um, <laughs> you need to be your own health advocate. So let's talk about the components of the healthy bone and joint pack, Pete. So there's uh, Russian rubles no. are the, the major component. <laughs> of the healthy bone and joint pack. Mm -hmm. They were smuggled in <laughs> by the Russian paramilitary force into the United States of America. Nice. On Chinese submarines. There we go. Now we're talking. So it's a it's a great thing. It's, it's, so the combination is we have a product called Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which gives you your vitamins and antioxidants and some of the minerals, mm -hmm. pre and probiotics, mm -hmm. wonderful formula, super easy to absorb. Mm -hmm. You have a liquid calcium and magnesium supplement that is over 90% absorbable, which just blows every other calcium supplement out of the water. We've got liquid plant-derived organic minerals, which all by itself in one bottle gives you 66% of your nutrient needs. That's two-thirds mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in one bottle, and it's minerals, which in this conversation we should be focusing on because that's what the bones need. The bones mm -hmm. need minerals mm -hmm. and essential fatty acids in order to help uh, your heart and hormones and everything else. And glucogel, it's a, a supplement called glucogel, which has glucosamine sulfate in it and gelatin. Interesting. Mm. Mm. One of the few bone and joint supplements that actually has gelatin in it, which is extremely effective at building ligaments and tendons and cartilage mm -hmm. in the human body. Mm -hmm. uh, which is well, it's a fascinating thing to think about because here's something I never knew, and we actually did this experiment in freshman or sophomore year. Took a chicken thigh bone, you know, like Kentucky Fried Chicken thigh bone, scraped all the meat off of it, put it in a glass of vinegar, mm -hmm. and left it there for 30 days, room temperature. And 30 days later, we took the bone out of the vinegar, and it was so rubbery that you could tie a knot with it mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the vinegar had dissolved all of the minerals mm -hmm. off of the cartilage matrix. So our bones are a cartilaginous matrix on top of which the minerals are laid down. So in order to have a healthy bone or joint, you don't just need the minerals for the outside, you need the stuff to support the cartilage on the inside. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, that's when the magic happens. Well, I'll never forget one of my first forays into this wonderful world of medical nutrition like this. Um, I met uh, a police officer from, well, I think it was South Carolina. I think it was South Carolina, not North Carolina. He was a good guy, really nice guy. He was retired Marine. Mm -hmm. And in the Marines, he got a bad hip. Mm because you know 25 pound back right. nobody's mineralized in the marines which if everybody in the marines was mineralized yeah we'd have a fighting force that couldn't you couldn't contend with mm -hmm. his hip went bad and he didn't know anything about this and so he had a hip replacement mm. and then he gets discharged from the marines his his contract is up he becomes a, a police officer now his other hip starts going he hears about this medical nutrition intervention the same way that you did, mm -hmm. and he applies it. Mm -hmm. And his hip, that he was going to have a second hip replacement surgery on the other hip, healed, didn't need it. Mm -hmm. and by the way, one of his knees got better into the bargain, <laughs> which was arthritic. And now the only thing that bothers him is the hip that was operated on. Take that. Take that. So this is really effective. Um, really effective bone and joint stuff. There's another, there's an NBA player, Theo Ratliff, the best orthopedic doctors in the NBA told him he was done because he had bad bones and joints, osteoporotic, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. And he, he did this the same way that you did mm -hmm. in nine months or six or nine months after they told him he was done, mm -hmm. he came back and for the next three years led the league in rebounds. Mm -hmm. 
Why? Because he had gene therapy? Was it stem cell therapy? Because he went to Switzerland and had his blood swiped out? No, because he gave his body the Healthy Foundation Pack. And it's a wonderful thing. I mean, it's one of the best kept secrets in orthopedic medicine mm -hmm. in the United States. And uh, it's a wonderful therapy. You should try it because you don't know what you're missing. And, and you mentioned my experience. I, I had a significant arthritis in my spine and in my neck. And um, my doc friends were giving me anti-inflammatories. I was on a couple anti-inflammatories. I was on Tylenol. I was on uh, even over-the-counter anti-inflammatories. Nothing was really helping. And they were talking about possible fusion of my neck, a surgery, right? Yeah. And uh, Pete, Dr. Glidden said to me, look, what, what, will, will you just do the right thing? Quit messing around. <laughs> and I did. And within a month, I was off all anti-inflammatories and Tylenol. And I was doing, I was much more active. This was in a month's time. And I was much more active, able to do yard, hours and hours worth of yard work without having to take medication, <laughs> right? And so when I went to see my colleagues, the docs who were talking about cervical fusion, neck fusion and the like, and he said, uh, uh, well, well, what's going on? I go, what do you mean what's going on? <laughs> well, you know, you were having some weakness because of the problems in your neck. You don't have that, you, you don't, not having any, you're not saying you're having any paresthesias or anything anymore. You're, you tell us what, what you're doing. You're, you know, and not only that, but people in the OR say you're like a kid in the OR. I mean, you're lifting patients and you're, what are you doing? What, well, what's going on here? And I don't know what they were expecting me to say, yeah. you know, but, but I said, well, I'm, I'm taking these nutritional supplements. They're expecting you to say Swiss stem cell therapy. Or, yeah, right, or some, you know, exotic thing. I went to Mexico and somebody right. did some kind of blood exchange or, you know, right. I don't know, something. And, and I said, no, this is what I'm doing. And they said, you're kidding, right? <laughs> no. I go, but here's why you're surprised. And it's the same reason why it took me so long to do it. Yeah. Because we never learned about it in right. allopathic medical school, MD yeah. medical school. We were never taught about this, which is why we don't even, it's not even on our radar screen. And the subliminal message in all well, conventional medicine is that if you're not taught it in medical school, it's simply not valid. Right, 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 right. 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 Yeah, it's hocus pocus. It's just anecdotal. Because it otherwise doesn't... we'd be teaching. <laughs> well, that's, that's, and that's the arrogance you talked about earlier, right? right. And, and, and yes, exactly. Right. But then they tell you, when you graduate medical school, 75% of what you learned the first four years of medical school is no longer accurate, <laughs> right? So wait, you can't have it both ways, right? You can't, you can't tell me you've learned everything you need in medical school and that's fine. And then when you're in graduation, the dean stands up there and goes, well, 75% of what you've learned here, that's why your education is going to have to go over your entire career. Well, wait a minute. Why did I just spend all these money the last four years if 75% of this is no good? And vitamins don't work, but oh, by the way, don't take vitamins before surgery because oh. you could bleed out. <laughs> right. 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 Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, you know, we were up against it here, Dave, because, you know, I mean, we're like the the people back in the day that are running around saying, hey, everybody, guess what? The earth is not flat and it's the not the earth. It's at the center of the solar system. It's reversed. And so. The message that we're bringing to the table, and you really need to be applauded for, for this, uh, for, especially from your side of the aisle, um, is factual and true, and true and factual mm -hmm. and effective, but it is not embraced yet by the mainstream. It will be. I don't think it's going to happen in our lifetime. Mm. But like the fellow said, the truth will out. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless big pharma comes down super hard, uh, harder than they have in the last two years, which would be hard to imagine. Mm. But the proof of the pudding is in the eating. And the only reason that my profession continues to exist mm -hmm. 
in a hostile political climate like this. The only reason that chiropractic still continues to exist, Ayurvedic acupuncture continues to exist, is because it's effective and it works. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can't suppress that mm -mm. all the time. Mm -hmm. So for those of you in the listening audience, it's, you know, it's, this is it's time to snap out of it. Honest to God. Kick these tires and slam these doors. Get the healthy foundation pack. Get the healthy bone and joint pack. Get the healthy blood sugar pack. Whatever it is that you're being troubled by, and do it for 90 days. And then look to see what happens. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. And all these products are available on OperationFreedomHealth.com, including a free video at the very top in the right-hand corner of the homepage on OperationFreedomHealth.com about the 12 bad foods. The foods and you need to avoid because your intake of food and not just the quantity, but what you are intaking, as Dr. Glidden said, is like putting diesel fuel in an engine that's only supposed to take regular gasoline. Yeah. Right? So OperationFreedomHealth.com. Dr. Glidden also has a site with extensive information, drglidden.com. Books are available there. And he also has a subscription site to drglidden.com. Pete, you want to speak about that? Well, it's on the website, drglidden.com. I've got tons of information available via a monthly subscription. It'll walk you right through specifically what you need to do for 88 different ailments. I also have my favorite section on the website. It's called Medical Myth Busting. Mm. We talk about things like cholesterol is good, salt is good, sugar is not the antichrist, real mind-bending things that are contrary to what you've been spoon-fed through mainstream media. We all know how that goes. So it's good information. You should have been taught this in high school. Mm. It will change your life, uh, and you're not going to find it. You're not going to find it anywhere else, quite frankly. I, I'm the only one that's talking about it in the public platform like this. So check it out. Become a subscriber at drglidden.com. But Dave, I have a question for you. Fire ahead. I should probably take serious drugs to get the swelling down here, do you think? Yeah, or, 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 or one heck of a big ice bath. <laughs> As I said, RFK Jr. is jealous of those biceps, man, of those guns, right? And which explains why, Pete, you know, in the background is uh, your golf course that you play at. Um, <laughs> yeah. If you look very closely right behind Peter's head uh, over his left ear, you will see a tree. Uh, prior to him doing this video, uh, I was watching Pete as he ran outside. He, there was a golf club wrapped around it for some reason. Apparently, Pete had a bad took a bad, a bad four iron yesterday. And this is inside information, Dave. You're mm. not supposed to divulge. <laughs> he only hit a, he only hit his four iron a, a 240 yards. He was upset about it. So you know, it, what are you going to do? That's how it goes. That's uh, what's what happens when you have biceps like uh, you know, guns, pythons. <laughs> Uh, thank you, folks, for joining us. Until next time, Dave Jana signing off. Dream big and dare to fail. OperationFreedomHealth.com, DrGlidden.com. Until next time, Dave Jana signing off. Dream big and dare to fail. Thanks for your time today.